So both of us have just finished showering. We're about to turn in for bed. But that got me to got me thinking. And then it's like, why are we talking about this? But why not? Why not, right? I'm just getting ready for bed. And then, so we're talking about sleeping wear today. Because what do you guys sleep in normally? Because I normally just sleep in a t-shirt and shorts, something comfortable. But, uh, well, as you can see, I'm wearing my Penn State shirt. I usually sleep in my Penn State t-shirts. And these bottoms, actually, that I'm sporting are Christmas pajamas. Apparently, there's a tradition where people get pajamas on Christmas, and that's their pajamas for that year. But we never had that. Our pajamas were just... No, we never had that. We just wore whatever was comfortable and just go to bed. Yeah. And, like, I want a good pair of pajamas. I was looking... Like, now that I'm an adult now, I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, maybe I should have, like sets of pajamas that are like really pretty and cute like silk material right soft and like right and I, I don't really want to sleep in a silk material but don't because don't you feel like it's sliding up or around or you're just sliding but you just don't feel comfortable you want to you want to settle in you know speaking of comfort you know we had a friend in college who slept naked and that always boggled my mind because i was like what if someone attacks you what if you need to get what if there's a fire and you have to run out what if what do you do? What if that time of the month is my question? Ugh. You know, is it always naked? If it's that strict of a policy, you know, is it? But I would at least want something on, something to like shield myself. Like I don't think sleeping naked is an option. Socks or no socks? Some people are like, ugh, socks. No in socks. Bed. No socks. Actually, no. I do wear socks in bed. Clean socks that I I haven't like walked on yet during winter time because my feet get like corpse cold like it's ice cold like i you touch corpses lately no but i'm saying corpses. but i'm saying like like if someone were judging my life like if i was alive or dead just by touching my toes they tend to think i was dead they're like don't, you don't even check the pulse like, i no one can have that i it's write somewhere cold. that women in general their limbs get super cold something is about it circulation protect, something about protecting this core because this is where our like womb and like baby bearing oh. hearts ah. are so shh not deep. So basically, I think that's why women's limbs get colder, like their hands and feet are the first to go because babies don't need that. Sorry, I have to give my dog some water. But yes, you can have some water too. I thought you she was come getting up to pour me water and I was like, how nice! I am a little parched. Apparently <laughs> she's just watering That's what my dog, dog was barking about, sorry. Oh, well, that's pretty smart. You guys communicate together like that. Wow. I thought she was just wanting to be on my lap. No. This is like a owner mother's intuition that I yep. don't have. But I can't read dog barks. That doesn't do anything for me. I, I just know. This is going to another topic. Anyways, pajamas. I mean, weigh in below and let us know what you think, what people should be sleeping in. What is the most comfortable, like, what is your ideal comfortable outfit for sleeping in? Because <laughs> Sorry, I have allergies. It's not. It's not She's crazy. crying <laughs> <laughs> through my nostrils. No, that's so funny because literally, like every time I'm at her place or like she's over at mine, like in the morning, I just hear honking. Oh yeah, I've definitely disrupted a couple of office calls where people are on their desk and I'm blowing my nose and they look at me like. Oh, well, do you remember how we used to like? Mm -hmm. Do you still remember it? Yeah. No. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, because that's so difficult. 